everybody for coming. My name is uh, Ricky Hanna, retired state senator, and we have a, uh, some people here who filed uh, applications, honest, hardworking people, Illinois citizens, uh, filed applications to be cannabis business owners, as promised in the legislation. We feel that the legislative intent was not met, and you find reporters every time you do a story, you keep coming up with more politically connected people legislators, uh, people in the cannabis business, people who are not supposed to apply, uh, going with different names. One company has 76 chances in the lottery. 76 chances! Is that wrong? And this company, KKPMG, who we have named KKKPMG, is the company that gave us these horrible scores, won't even tell us why we were deficient, and they're going to say to us that only 21 groups qualify. And guess what, everybody? Nowhere in America has any group ever got a perfect score, even the ones who are in the cannabis business now. But yet in Illinois, 21 companies get the perfect score. Why? Because that was their way of blocking out the Latinos, blocking out the African Americans, and blocking out women. Uh, I'm going to bring up a couple of people here uh, that will tell you their personal story. And we'll start... Uh, with Mrs. Nunez, who is a veteran, because she's supposed to get veteran points again. Her and her family applied and got rejected. I'll have her come and tell you her own story. Hello, my name is Eva Hernandez Nunez. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I was an Army veteran. I applied for the cannabis licensing. I worked so hard, me along with a lot of other veterans. We were disqualified, not knowing the reason as to why. Now I want to ask the governor to give us a chance. That's right. To see what was wrong with our application. What went wrong? Why were we, why did we qualify? Why were we notified that we didn't qualify? Right. What happened? We deserve a chance too. Please, governor, give us an opportunity. Not just me, for those, uh, for those that work so hard, not just the veterans, but also the inequality for our people. And I just think it was unfair. Please, Governor, give us a chance to give us a chance. Eva, and we want to say this is not a black only fight, it's not a Latino only fight, it's not it's not a minority only fight. They screwed over white people too. They screwed over us statewide. This company, KK, PM, we want to know how did they get the contract? Who do they know? This is a company that has settled on a fraud, tax fraud lawsuit, $482 million to avoid prosecution. So who would pick a company like that? That's like taking your children to a daycare run by pedophiles and you know it. Who would do that? Why did they get chosen? We want to know. And it's statewide. We want to bring Billy Bishop here. Billy is from Springfield, Illinois, and he was also rejected without cause. Billy? How's everybody doing today? My name is William Bishop III. I'm from Springfield, Illinois. It's an honor to be up here standing next to you, Ricky. I know you've been fighting for our community for many 
years. I'm a veteran, old United States Marine. Was raised in one of those impacted areas since 1972. I got together, read the law, did exactly what the law said, go find somebody in the medical community, team up with them, and, and, and learn about the application process and put your application in. We got rejected. And I, as I looked at my district where they're doing these applications and nobody from my district even got qualified for it. You see what I'm saying? It's all oh, people. Right. There's all people from other areas of the state that's going to own the cannabis businesses in central Illinois. And that's not fair. You can't hand out 70-some 70, 70 licenses and give it to 21 people. Not when you've been telling our community and locking our community up, keeping our doors down and sitting with the last 40 years. And all of a sudden it's time to get paid. We can't get into the game. It's not right, y'all. Right, 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 right. It's not right. We've been doing this for 40, 50 years. Logistics, supply, demand. And it gets down, we got to come up above the ground. You tell us we can't sell it. We can't own the businesses. I'm kind of like Ricky. If we can't get in, y'all can't sell none. Nobody out of here. No justice. No 200 no 200 years, man. No 200 justice, years. No I traveled 200 miles just to voice my opinion because this is important. Yeah. Yeah. We talk yeah. about generational yeah. wealth. That's right. Right. That's right. Right. I'm so pissed off. I'm shaking right now. All right. No justice, so let's no do what we got to do. Let's band together. This ain't a black, brown, white. There's a whole bunch of people got fucked over in this. Excuse my French. That's all right. Done. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And let me say this. Right. They have been saying to me, uh, like Billy, why are we cursing? We shouldn't use profanity. What they're doing to us is profanity. What they're doing to us is vulgar. And, and, and they're Keystone Crooks, too. It got the same addresses for 24 licenses. Same connections with the same groups that's already in the cannabis business. This was supposed to be an expansion of the cannabis business that will let black, brown, women, and white people as well who not trying to get 40 licenses, 30 licenses. We got no problem with young white people with startup companies getting one license. But why should the selected crew get all the licenses and nobody can explain how they graded? For instance, in my case, they said I didn't live on the west side. Everybody knew I'm west side. Right <laughs> there. I play softball for the west side outlaw. I live on California and, and Washington. I had to file a light bill from 1998. The, I've been senator, alderman, Democratic World Committee on the west side. I turn it back in. They say I still didn't. I, they, I, they won't let me know that I approved that I lived on the west side. It's ridiculous. They set this up. This was a conspiracy. This was an orgy, a political orgy. And they're screwing the taxpayers of Illinois. They're screwing the black and brown community. No kiss, and I ain't even using no cop. This is brutal. And we are not going to take it. Governor J.B. Pritzker, fix it now. Now they're telling us, wait till round four. Oh, wow. Round four will be in 2021. Are we gonna wait for round four? No. Like I said, women are excluded right now. The cannabis industry is 99.9 percent owned by white men. Yeah. Women were excluded. One young lady who applied, uh, Lashawn Burnett, part of a group, and she will come and tell her story real quick about her group and her activities. Hi everyone. All right. My name is Lashawn Burnett, and I'm also a social. I represent the joint LLC, me and my partners, three males, and me also as a black woman. But today as a black woman, I come here sad. Sad, sad in the state of Illinois. Chicago, I was born and raised in. I've always been proud of my city. I've always took up for my city. Through all the bad that we just faced through the COVID. Mm. Riot. All the riots, all the brutality. Today, I stand in front of you, embarrassed, hurt, betrayed, the lies that we were told. We were told, as a social equity, we qualify black people, Latinos. We were all lied to. Lied to. It stated in the cannabis law that we would get most of the points because we were black and Latino. 
Where are scores? Where are scores? Oh, where are scores? 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 I was at the duck to the point. So this day, we requested our scores. We still do not have them. We demand justice. We want fairness. Pritzker, Governor Pritzker, JB, Governor Pritzker, please consider this lottery. Please don't put us on the back end. Stop the lottery! Stop the lottery! Stop the lottery! Stop the lottery! This is our time. Governor Pritzker, we know you can make that change. Yes, you can. Yes, sir. Your voice matters. We're asking for fairness, righteousness. That's all we want. Thank you. Well, let me just real quick, and we're going to bring up a veteran who scored 250. You get two bonus points if you get 250. They they dropped him to 249. That's the point I'm saying. He actually had 250, but they dropped one point for a building that don't exist. Somehow something was wrong with one document. I'll let him tell you himself. But these are the little tricks that they've been playing. They created this 252 perfect score to create this lottery to have a reason and excuse. And remember, KP. MG is professionals at this. They made $30 billion last year. They did an agreement with the government for $452 million when they were caught cheating before. Why did the governor pick a company like this? Come and tell them about your company and how they cheated you out of that one point which dropped you below their so-called perfect score number. Well, first of all, my name is Jamil Shavis and I represent the Shire Rome LLC. This was any other cannabis event. I hope he has a black man as a casualty on the, on the war on drugs. A lifelong resident of the city of Chicago. A Marine Corps veteran with two tours in Iraq. Self-funded small business for a cannabis license. Who would have thought I would be here today because my social equity application was in question. My commitment to my country was made clear. Through my service, and I still pay for that service today through my PTSD. Okay. My commitment to this neighborhood through my life work speaks for itself. All right. yes, sir. My commitment to building an economic legacy in my neighborhood that I live in through a dispensary made possible by this program has always been made clear. The state asked me to be committed to a process opposed to represent justice, equality, and opportunity. How can I be committed to that process? When my life, my plans, my neighborhood for justice and equality and the opportunity was somehow one point shy of your ideal. How can I, the people behind the process, help people who they don't know or don't even live in the communities? Huh. I'm here because I believe in the process. More importantly, I believe I want to help the people behind the process because I know not only the people they want to help, I am the people that they want to help. Yep. But it's supposed to help those right. 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 I'm supposed to be the perfect definition of what a social equity applicant was. Right. I checked all boxes. We are. All I came boxes. from the DIA. I'm a disabled veteran. Teach. I'm supposed to be what the social equity program was designed to address. Teach. Yeah. But how somehow I'm one point shy of your ideals. I was inducted at one point in an area in which I received no deficiency notice. According to your rules and your law. Discrimination. These are your rules and your laws. Any area in which you're act. deficient, you're supposed to receive a Everybody deficiency note. Down the road. This, act they this country is watching to see if we move forward with social weapons. That's right. We, got a move forward with social weapons. That's right. we have the opportunity right now to get this right. I urge Governor Prisker and all regulatory officials involved inside of this process to sit down with me to understand my passion for this, to understand my aspirations for my community, to understand what our community needs. What my neighborhood needs, and not to have somebody that's from the outside of my neighborhood dictate what goes on inside of my neighborhood. We lived in these communities. We suffered. It was our fight, and you're taking this fight from us. Taking the money. And putting it in the hands of your friends. In the hands of your comrades. In the hands of the wealthy. In the hands of the people that have already made. 
These yep. bars and these rivers represent service. Okay. Yes, people that were dedicated to a country that so often turned its back on its veterans. Right. 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 But we've been dedicated and we remain dedicated. We never stopped being Marines. We right. never stopped being Army. We never right. stopped being Navy. Men. We never stopped being Air Force. We continue to be veterans here. We continue to fight for our own community. We just need someone to fight for us. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. We're going to have Pedro come up and speak from the uh, color and cannabis. Good morning. Uh, my name is Pedro Guerra. It's P E D R O G U E R R A. My experience is a little different. However, as you can see, everybody is not here because they want to be here. They're here because we are frustrated. Right. Mm -hmm. okay? They keep telling us follow the rules, play the game. Well, that's what we did. We lived up to our bargain, not to stay to live up to theirs. Okay? Having ownership in, an, uh, in a dispensary would have changed a lot of lives. Not only mine, but I feel, feel bad for the veterans who applied and are getting taken advantage of. I ask Governor Pritzker to please reconsider the lottery that is coming up. I ask Governor Pritzker to please review the uh, management agreements for the social equity applications that are in the lottery. Okay. So some of them is bogus. A lot of gov a lot of veterans do not know, even though they're in the lottery, that they will not own any equity in the ownership of this dispensary. It'd be a pimp. Correct. Okay. We've mentioned generational wealth. That is something that we truly believed we were going to get when we applied for this application. At least a fair score. Okay. Just like Senator Hanson said, he didn't get points for Illinois residency. I think it's crazy. I did it as well, and everybody that knows me knows that I am from the south side. South side. South side. South side. Yeah. So, to keep this short, Governor Pritz, please reconsider the lottery. Please review the account agreements, the management agreements that are put in the social equity. Thank you. Thank you. All right, real quick, I'm going to wrap it up. And then I'm a, my, uh, my son Rick is going to lead a group of the uh, millennials who are going to explain why it's important to them next week because we got to keep fighting, y'all. Uh, but I wanted to bring up the fact that we sent the letter to the governor, gave it to him, handed it to him personally, asking for a couple of things, and then we'll wrap it up. One, we want KPMG, this Ku Klux Klan company, to explain to everybody what methods did they use to come up with these point systems. Metrics. Why did, what were their metrics? How did we lose and why? All right? How did they select these 21 people? There are rumors that somebody just gave them a list. Yes, sir. Said these 21 make it. And in order to make sure that they're going to win, give them 76 chances. How many of you would love to have 76 chances and everybody else got one? We're also asking for 75 new licenses from the, the, oh, the pool for next year to be moved forward. Yes. And the clear social equity applicants get those damn licenses. Yes. We also want these companies to have 76 chances to only get 10 chances. You can only win 10 licenses. Why do they got 34 chances and 76 chances? Only give them 10 stank chances. We'll take our chance with our one or our two, but it's hard for us to beat somebody who got 100 chances and you got one chance. We also asked the governor to stop the rig lottery. We should not have to be going to court to get them to stop that lottery. We need to do it now. We also asked them to support the trailer bill that is being pushed in the Senate and the House by the representatives that, that understand the legislative intent was not met. We want emergency session. Everybody say emergency session. Because we're in emergency situations. Yes, our babies are dying every day. Black and brown killing each other, killing ourselves. This program was so we could not just build cannabis dispensaries, but build other businesses around the cannabis dispensary and have ownership. And let me say this to the blacks that snuck their way in. If we find out, which we have, that you is just a name on the paper. That's it. If we know that you willing to wine head, drink all the wine you want, but we ain't going to let you pimp us. <laughs> By them putting your name on the application as if you're going to own the company. If your daddy owns a cannabis company 
and he used your name, I'm sorry, sister, but we're going to have to fight you. That's right. right. Simple as that. So we gave this letter to the governor. He said he would meet with us. Yes, he did. Let's everybody, we want to meet with the governor. Yeah. We want to meet with the governor now. Yeah. Now. 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 Or he will force us to begin shutting down cannabis dispensary in Springfield, in Chicago, on the west side, on the north side, no matter who owns the dispensary. If we don't eat, don't no damn body eat. Not just the no weed. I have one list. I'm just going to show the media. This list right here, every place where you see red, is a company that either had a state rep or a Democratic Ward Commitment, which is the saddest part because we vote Democrat all the damn time. The elections coming up, they want to talk about Trump. What about you? Yes. yes. Everywhere where you see red, it's some bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. I said I won't go cuss today, but I had to get that one out because <laughs> that's what this is. That means they, and when you see a double red, that means it's the same company, same address, same lawyer, same registered agent, and they got 76, 34, 48 chances. Governor J.B. Prisker, do not let these people do you like this. KPMG made thirty billion dollars last year. The cannabis business made. Seventy million dollars last month, but we broke because they won't let us in. So everybody needs to understand: we're dealing with gangsters, we're fighting drug dealers, we're fighting a corrupt government. But we're gonna fight this, and we're gonna win. Thank you. I will take any questions, and then we're gonna do one more march downstairs. And we and we should be wrap it up. That's but right, if you did not march in front of the door at least one time, you should at least march one time to let everybody in the AI building know that KK PMG and uh, they just said cannabis is about to go legal nationwide. Yeah. Everybody's looking at Illinois. If we get everybody. social equity right here, we don't have to say minority participation. We don't have to say affirmative action. But if they go use social equity. To get, deny us our rights, then we got to go back to saying affirmative action, minority participation, black, brown, and women. But if we get it wrong, nationwide, so we're asking Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and President Trump, where do you stand on social equity? How do you interpret social equity? And these people say, well, we qualify because we're going to hire some Negroes. That was called slavery. We had full employment. Everybody worked back then. We ain't going back to that shit no more. Any questions? If not, let's go. Let's work that one more time. KK PMG. Blue Clutch Pad PMG. Strike out the bridge. Come on.